This is the famous Olympus Troop 35, came out 1967 and was discontinued in 1984. Not bad going, as you can probably guess by the title, it was designed to be a compact functional camera for holidays and also was featured in an advertising campaign with David Bailey. They sold over 10 million units. Now it's point and shoot, as you can probably guess. The lens, 2.8, 40 mil. Mine's got a skylight filter on it. It's made in Japan, Olympus D Zuko lens. That's a fixed lens, so you can't take that off. Focusing, you select one of these four icons here. It's relatively clear what that means. So one person, two people, group of people, and a landscape mode. So worth playing around with that. You change your ASA or your ISO by just grabbing that and turning it there. The skylight filter helps you get a little bit more on it there. The bottom ring, you can change the aperture or put it on automatic. You gotta get your fingers right in there. The easiest one is the, in inverted commas, focus. But that's how you do that. So you've got three different rings there that you can turn. There's your rewind. So to open it, get a nail in there, pull that and it will pop open. That's your rewind, that's your release. And there it is. It's nice and metallic feel to this. This camera feels nice, even though it's only a point and shoot technically. There's the shutter, which is similar to the other Olympus I've got, but metallic. This will let you know what frame you're on. It has a hot shoe for the flash. As you'll see, it doesn't have a built-in flash, and it has a remote release. It's a four-element Tessar lens, which is impressive. The images are actually very nice from this if you get it just right, especially with modern films. Again, the aperture can be adjusted so you can cope with different lighting conditions, focusing not so much, but you can get used to that. This went on for a long time, so you can imagine it was quality. If you see this lying around in a charity shop, Pick it up and give it a play.